He was gonna go with the Slark as their fourth pickup. Um, Slark again. Th there is a fair bit of AOE control coming out for the Slark. Earth Spirit, Jakiro, Lina, all really good versus that hero. But uh, in the absence of something like a disruptor or a straight up lockdown during a shadow dance, I think he should be okay. But I'm not Earth quite seeing the synergy Lina, here for really good versus versus Lino. They've got but okay. I I get the synergy with the axe and the ancient apparition. There's or a straight up lockdown during a shadow not dance. Not so much I value to the slark axe okay. that makes Nyx assassin seems like a sore thumb just sticking out now. I think they might go for the puck right now. TA seems too greedy with the slark and axe. I think it's a puck pick now. Puck versus Lena isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. I think puck puck can play it after rain drops. It's fine. As for FTG, they're looking for an off lane, and LC is still in the mix. Do you want to go? Yeah, I don't think you want to go LC versus. Nah, him. I, I, uh, LC isn't too good over here. Oh, Checker was pretty good actually. Nice ban. What else can they go for? No, bad idea to get the Timber Saw either versus the Nyx. Maybe. You look at, I don't know, Bristleback, he hasn't been banned out. They have Juggernaut Magnus. Oh yeah, Magnus could work. Yeah, Magnus is pretty good here. Even Evos can go for Magnus, I think. And play Slark as the one, but he'll get destroyed by the Lina at mid. Mm -hmm. It is Evos' pick now, though, so they need to make a decision. Just 10 seconds on the clock and... It'll be the queen. Okay, so not not a greedy pick coming out from them. A good tempo controller, and there's the synergy with the axe initiation. Yeah, but in most cases the queen doesn't get ganked. But this game they have Lena and Earth Spirit. They can kill the queen. Admit. Pretty sure this is a Magnus game. Queen versus Lena is a pretty even mid matchup, right? Yeah, it's a even. I think it's a little bit Lena favored, but both farm end up having like. At, after one point, Lena is like gets level five, level three. Dragon Slave is like takes two, two, two thirds of your HP or something, and then it's, it's kind of bad. But early game should be fine. Like Queen has a lot of last hit damage and stuff like that. Yeah, I think the other problem with Queen is for her to push out the wave, she actually needs to go into the center of the river, which is where Lena can yeah. get that fog of war stun on her. Yeah. FTG last pick on the board. They're looking for their off laner. Um, there's some echo coming in from your end. Are your speakers on? No. Wait, let me check. Maybe my mic volume's too high. Yeah, it's possible. Anyway, 120 seconds. Uh, sorry, 1 minute 20 seconds on the clock here. Fire Dragoon. Is it better now? Uh, yeah, I think so. Off laner here for FTG. I was leaning towards the Bristleback, but I'm having second thoughts looking at an Ancient Apparition Axe and a Quop. Magnus, I think it's a Magnus game. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I can't think of anything else that makes sense here either. BB or Magnus, one of the two, mostly. But then that puts uh, Fire Dragoon on a clock, right? They want to play early. They want to start sieging early, and they're also gonna have to play around that RP cooldown. Then, whereas Evos can fight uh, very often with the Axe initiation. Ice Plus has a relatively low cool. Thinking about it, like I see Centaur also not banned, but Centaur. Yeah, single Centaur pick so far, at least in the games I've been following. Abaddon, Magnus, Centaur. Does a Fortic Shield? No, you can't dispel the Ice Plus. It doesn't work no. there, but it does soak up some of the damage at least. Five seconds remaining. Slider. Oh, Slider. Slider off lane. This is it's fallen out of fashion, man. It doesn't seem like a good lane for Slider though. Slark A and X. A lot of stunts. Mhm. Mm yeah. Then I think Slider off lane is also not one of those heroes that can go into the jungle and flash farm, whereas Evos has the axe who can just go and outpace the Slider if needed. Queen has to buy Yule's first item, I think, this game. Oh, uh, Slider. Earth Spirit Silence. Oh yeah, no Ice doubt path. about that. It's definitely a Yule game. I might might even go PT2 Nulls BKB or some stuff, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I, I'd i say the lineups are fairly evenly matched here. Evos has a lot of uh, early mid game firepower, whereas Fire yeah, Dragoon has amazing. some great uh, pushing potential with the Jakiro Juggernaut and Lina, I'd say.
I think a lot's gonna boil down to how they use their nighttime smokes. Yeah. The one thing that I'm a little worried about for FTG is they don't have too many reliable stuns. So at this point, they're kind of relying on a Nyx Assassin to land the first stun, post which a Lina or a Jakiro could follow up. And FTG? Nyx is an EVOS, right? Oh, sorry, my bad. I mean EVOS. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I, I kind of got confused for a moment. What am I saying? Yeah, they've got the Slara for the straight stun, so that, that definitely works out for them. Alrighty then, let's do... I my own camera. What? Oh, you just need to reconnect to the game. I think that'll fix it. Uh, okay, yeah, you go introduce. Yep. Introductions. FTG has Zaki on the slaughter. You've got uh, Bryant handling that Earth Spirit. Jakiro is going to be played by Yang. Alacrity is going to be handling that uh, Lina. And that puts perfect on the Juggernaut. Everyone's spamming out their patience from Zoe's. Meanwhile, on Evos, you've got uh, Laiku handling the Nyx Assassin. Axe is going to be played by Evil. Queen of Pain going to be played by Rams. Lark going to be handled by Illogic. And uh, Suho is going to be playing the Ancient Apparition. Is your camera issue fixed? Nah, I reconnect. I'm reconnecting again. I tried reconnecting, it didn't work. Yeah, just try restarting Dota. Yeah. Nah, I don't have doubts on your camera control, but. <laughs> No, but you need to watch oh, something yeah, else, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be. It looks like an offensive try lane coming out from Evos, actually, there. Oh, just give me a moment. For some reason, my game sounds are absurdly loud. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's an offensive try lane coming out from FTG. They're running a Juggernaut, a Jokiro, and. Bryant on that Earth Spirit towards the top lane, and then they're also going to go up against a dual lane of the Ancient Apparition and the Slark. I assume that we're going to see the Nyx rotate up top as well. Uh, their tri lane is like pretty much better than Evo's tri lane, but Axe is getting 1v1 versus a melee hero, so oh, yeah. that's a problem, yeah. I wonder why they're doing this. Were they expecting an offensive tri lane from Evo's? No, you couldn't have expected an offensive trial with a Nyx, Ancient Apparition, and a Slark, right? Maybe they think they'll play bet better with the Slider Blink Dagger, so... It isn't too bad. Mid lane. Right, give me a sec, guys. I need to change some of my video settings. Drop them down to Potato Tier, because... Um... He was just shifting the lanes. They don't want... Yeah. The slag to be under pressure. FPS drops, man. I've actually downgraded my graphics card if that's a thing. Anyway, Zaki is running from Evil Bottom. You can't. There's no way they can deal with this Slada and uh, Slada versus Axe and Slark here. He's <laughs> gonna have to switch. The the Slada before he TPs out. <laughs> <laughs> so like every time you should like try and uh, like predict the lanes because if one team is taping and you just follow the other team and they can't like walk again from bot to top mm -hmm. it's pretty fun how this axe is like like a <laughs> zoning slider right now <laughs> it's like but a position 5 axe Slark did start off with the pounce so he can make a play here if they want to but they need level 2 on the axe at least yeah there we go so level 2 is online Zaki might just end up dying here. There's the call to start things off. And uh, he's also got the essence shift picked up now. Illogic needs to connect this bounce. Finds it as well. Looks like this might just be first blood. But while that's happening, middle lane ends up giving a first blood up to Rams on uh, the Queen of Pain. Alacrity has gone down and that's a big kill. Considering it was the one, the uh, two position Lina. Zaki still alive, salving up, buying as much time as he possibly can here. Running into a wave of dire creeps before TPing out. Space was created. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the next mana burned him like twice. Then they jumped him. It's fine. Lena will catch up in this matchup anyway. Alright, so they've switched things up. There's an Invis rune on Laiku, by the way, and he's got that Impale available. But yeah, look at this. Radiant Scan has spotted this out. That was a pretty good scan. Scans yeah. normally don't work this early. <laughs> good. Presence of mind, knowing that uh, Ice Frog has given him new tools to work with. 
Maid isn't really one on one anymore, so it's like pretty hard for Lina, right? Up top, perfect. He's got 13 CS. Axe has now moved himself up here as well. That's a level three axe. He's got one on one point in each of those three spells. Um, he should be okay actually. He, he's just simply got to push out the creep waves, pick up his bounties, and get into that groove where he farms neutrals when the creeps are pushed out. And it'll get a lot easier once he gets his tranquil boots online as well. Slider's out of region, so I think yeah, uh, Evos is coming. Out on top for now at least. The Nyx assassin player is cancer man. He's like <laughs> <laughs> taking runes, standing on radiant hill and stuff like that. Uh, you even first out a rotation from the Earth Spirit. This wasn't spotted by the Nyx. But they're going in mid. They've actually the Queen is the one to jump in. Bad idea gets hit with the rolling boulder. The light striker is there, but here comes Laiku from behind. Alacrity is in trouble. Laiku looks like he wants to score this kill, but he'll force out a salve at the very least. While well, Rams takes a dragon slave to the face. Bryant ends up surviving as well. Everyone just comes in, growls at each other, snarls a little bit, and then they back away. Lovely. Casual regen rune. Back in the day when mid was 1v1, I miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> so is... much rotation, everyone's getting a good lane for some reason. Yeah, I'd say that the Slark is still having a ball of a time here. He hasn't moved from this lane, right? Yeah. Both are having like decent farm. Even Juggernaut is like free farm. For How does this game play out in the mid game stage? I'm trying to figure because. I think a lot of pressure is going to fall upon the Knicks and the Earth Spirit to make those plays. But early game, their rotations are being matched by each other, so no one's dying. Maybe Evos just, you know, flash farms on that axe till he gets his blink dagger and then they start making a play with a smoke, perhaps. But yeah, they're giving levels to the A also, so, the, so that they can fight early. Axe is jungling. Mm -hmm. But so this Lara's blink boys. is going to be a lot slower than the Axe's blink, so Evos will be aggressive first, is what I'd assume. Yeah. Uh, I think Slark's dead. Yep, bottom they've jumped him. There is a dual breath as well. Illogic bounces to the left, but his carcass hits the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> that just happened. It's pretty bad when you die to ANC nowadays. It's like 20 extra bonus time or something. 10, 10 15 or something, not sure. And he's also it's got... Not... I don't think he spent his money there either. So it wasn't. It definitely wasn't an intentional death. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. Maybe like if he had an extra drops. point in Berserker's call instead of the battle hunger, I he might have survived. Fine, like, it's fine. As long as no one is stealing his stack, it's fine. The axe is pretty high level though. Mhm. Mm Five at six minutes in. That's not bad at all. Meanwhile, top Zaki jumped on. But uh, he's quite tanky. Gets hit with the cold feet. Will be forced to use the sprint here. No real kill potential coming out just yet on this top lane. They need a rotation coming out from the next. They need to secure the double stuns with the cold feet and the impale if they actually want to confirm a kill. But uh, they can just uh, go three top, I think, because the next and the axe is missing. They see the slug through the siege creep. They might jump him now. Look at this next man. He's such a pest. He's just following around Lina now and yeah, maybe they can get a kill. Slark. He's about to go down. Dual breath from the side gets the kill. Let's look back at the Lina. She's down for the count. Queen of Pain jumps in. How many Invis runes has this guy picked up now? I think that's the second one in the first six minutes. The Lina is like pinging the Nyx. Like he's getting the cancer wipe from him. Like <laughs> he's, he's only been mid so far. So. Yeah, this is. But even then, right? The only reason he's still able to score these kills is because of that stupid invis rune. The first invis, Lina made a good play, scanning to spot out the position, so he dodged that gank. How do you expect a second invis within the next four minutes? That's just bad luck for him. Weird stuff at bottom, like trying to pressure out the chuck with axe and slark. This axe doesn't have a lane to go actually right now. Mm, he's evil. trying for a wrap around from behind into creeps with jug. Like if he catches him with four creeps, then it's fine. Or else it's pretty hard. 
Yeah, maybe they'll be able to get this if they connect with an impale from the fog here. Laiku is lining it up. Evil starts off with the battle hunger. There isn't enough mana, but he does have a magic stick. He wants to pop it for the blade fury. Seems like they're trying to bait it. Oh, they got the stun off. Baited perfectly. Now they'll get the kill on the jug. As Yang's TP will not accomplish anything. Bryant has entered the fray as well. They want to try and score one on this lock, but he has level 6 online. There's the rolling boulder coming in, slowing down Evil, but he's the one dishing out more damage. Yes, Slaughter seeping in. What a boulder smash, but does it matter at this point? Evil and his boys are just really over leveled. They've even got the Shadow Dance popped by Logic, so he'll be able to shrug off uh, the amp damage and run away. While Zaki should be able to score a kill on Evil's axe at the end of it all. It's a 2 for 1. Still well worth it for them. It's going to be more, in fact, as the Quap rotates in to score this kill on Zaki's Slada. They'll get the sun off behind on Bryant as well. And this is essentially a team wipe on the side of the Radiant. Everyone except the Lina died there. Space for Lina, bro. I think it's good. Oh, meanwhile, it's not that bad. At least the Juggernaut scores the return kill on the top lane. Yeah, he was chilling, having the lane to himself. Like, you could say it was worth it for EVOS, but see the mid tower's HP and also a freebie given up by the A at that time, so... Is it yep. too bad? Yeah, I think EVOS are okay. I mean, uh, I like, FTG are okay. I, li I, I like in that fight how Slaughter uses Amp first and then he stuns on the Slark, which gave him time to like pop the Shadow Dance. Mm -hmm. I don't think it made a difference, but still. They're and rolling like, border again. GG, like they're gonna go in. Oh, you gotta be joking! Where? Oh, man! Axe feels like shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Life of a position by suddenly running at you. Suddenly, I, I think FTG are back in this game. I mean, they were looking like they were falling a little behind, but now they're back in it. Like, ooh, he's looking for this double impale, but there's no follow up, so what's the point? And that's a I vendetta pop kill. already. The Lena is like, Nick's, Nick's assassin is missing and he's like pinging the radiant. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a sentry yeah, word? This, nope. Nah. They'll probably sentry between the medi medium camps right now. So the next can probably solo kill Lena. Like, he is going to carapace the dragon slave and then. What's hit him. he doing though? No, no, he wanted to carry up the dragon slave and then hit him with the ventilator. Okay, but now he's gonna end up dying, I think. Axe comes in with brown boots again. <laughs> Someone hit the reset button on this fellow, Evil. Gets the call, oh wow, that's a dead slaughter. Nah, broken hero. Goldfeet did proc on him, Rams comes in, there's the death on him. Brian, he, you saw what he tried, right? Geomagnetic grip as soon as the queen blinked in, but he's just a millisecond too late, I think. Queen is pretty farmed. Mm-hmm. Orchid rush, but still pretty fragile. Yeah, I, I do agree with your call at the early game where she should have considered the Yules or some sort of survival items first. Nah, I oh. think it makes sense. Juggernaut is dead as well. Yules. It makes sense not going for the Yules because the Nyx was like mid the entire time and he gave him a good start. So he needs Radiant's some aggressive item now. He just shouldn't get caught. That's the thing. 11 minutes in, casual 17 kills on the board. Just your average Southeast Asian Dota game, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Boot, windless axe, trying to farm a dagger. <laughs> 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 oh man, I feel bad for this guy. He had an okay yeah. time, right? He was holding his own in the lanes, farming well in the neutrals, stacked his inch in his neutrals, etc. All that effort and then it's all stolen away. Because they had one observer ward here, right? Yeah, that's the one. Generation. They see him again, that's the problem. <laughs> Messi? Yep, that ward. So much value coming out from it. <laughs> I think the Axe should realize by now that that place has some crime going on. <laughs> <laughs> the tilt is real. <laughs> he rolled on him twice from the same place, actually. So. Slark. Hey, he's okay. He skewed up the Shadow Blade, but it's gonna take a while before he gets this. Evos, I can't believe they've actually been resigned to making space for their Axe now. 
if they get off this gang, the queen is going to have like a 15 minute orchid or something. Yeah, but they they've been spotted. There's an observer and a sentry in the lane that saw this movement. Queen jumps in anyway. Zaki's been waiting here for a little too long. Like who takes the long path around Macro Pyre along with the Ice Path. The Boulder Smash doesn't connect onto the Slark. The Sonic Wave, it does clip one on the tail end of it, but they're still fighting this one through successfully. Zaki with a desperate stun can't quite catch Rams on haste. Meanwhile, behind, Slark and Nyx doing up to no good. Alacrity walks in, gets stunned up and caught with the pounce. Shadow Dance popped preemptively, but they've got the control for the Slark with the Ice Path. Well, Laiku, he's in trouble. He's got the Spike Carapus in three, but doesn't get to pop it. Gets Laguna on the back of a crush. FTG will find another minor kill there. The Surge Spirit is a mad football player. Like, he's been saving his team, even he saved Slider at the bottom lane. Uh, like next to the tower when he went for the trees. Pretty mm -hmm. good. It's scary how EVOS are still applying so much pressure despite all that's happened to the Axe this game. But their lineup is still really good at fighting, even though the Axe's Blink Dagger is going to take a long time. Look at that, by the way. He bought a second set of Tranquil Boots. Yeah, he was thinking like if he could like Rush go the for the Blink Dagger. Yeah, but you can't farm jungle without Tranquil Boots. It's impossible. Do you, at this point, do you make a decision to simply skip the Blink for now? Maybe just tank up with a Hood or something? Nah, I think you need Blink. You have, like, he's the initiating core, right? He probably thinks, like, I should get Blink ASAP and, like, go fight. He needs to fight. You can't play passive with an axe for, like, 25, 20 minutes or something. Yeah, that's true. Well, we spoke about how the Nyx and the Invoker would have made a good combination, but for now, it's the Nyx and the Ancient Apparition that are busy sniping off heroes. And that puts Slara's Blink Dagger back by a few minutes as well. He almost had it. I think he actually had the money for it just before he died, but... Now he's stuck at 1900 yeah. gold. The axe is also like 900 gold away only. And Slada still doesn't have a blink after like losing his tranquil boots. Like uh, after like axe lost his tranquil boots. So mm -hmm. Slada is having a rough time. They're going in here. They whiff on the rolling boulder. The boulder smash is a wide ball as well. And uh, well, at least the Omni Slash will be fine. They will get the kill on two Hoys, Ancient Apparition, but Evil, he's crying. He just wants them to leave him alone for a while so he can get his dagger, but you've got, they're not going to let him have his way. It's a double kill for Perfect, while Evos, they actually picked off the Lina behind. Now Rams is coming back into the fray to try and find a pick off on these stragglers. But they've all got TPs. They'll get on out of here. Yeah, he's going back for the Yule now. He got a freebie on the Lena. He did not see the Orchid coming. He was like walking to the lane. Got picked off. He had a TD as well. Mm -hmm. Evos. At this point, they're just using the Axe's bait to make space. <laughs> Unintentional bait. Slider's walking back to base. They're going to smoke with the dagger. Mm -hmm. Evos should be prepared for this though. And if they can find a pick off before the smoke comes through, that's perfect for them. They'll open up a lot of room to wiggle. Juggernaut's pretty okayishly fun, but he's going drums. Not sure about that. Hmm. What would you prefer? I think just straight up for Manta. Because they have like Orchid and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nyx. Gonna keep my eyes on Nyx by the way. He's looking like he wants to go hunting again. He's going for the drums of his own by the way. So bonus move speed, bonus HP on that Nyx assassin. But an Invis Quap is now moving into the jungle. But I, they should be worried. They should be cautious about how they do this. FTG ought to be prepared for Nyx walking around an Invis. They're gonna walk they have in. zero sentries right now though. Uh oh, they put a sentry at the shrine. Vlaiku knows that something is up. FTG's movements might have given that away. Either that or yeah, it was this observer ward from the Dyer that spotted this. In the jungle though, they've got the pick off here. They're gonna bring down the juggernaut before he can respond. But the crush comes out saving his life. Evos is the one to get the first kill. It is the kill on the juggernaut anyway. While Vlaiku, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. And will tick down to the magnetize and an auto attack from Yang. So one for one this thus far, but uh, a pick off on the Juggernaut is a lot more valuable than the death on the Nyx Assassin. And all while Axe continues to farm. Oh, he's got his blink by the way. Yeah, he got up. Hey, not bad man, 17 minutes in. In my pub games, this is normal blink tower timing. 
Anyway, bottom. There's a crush coming out. Illogic. Oh, whiff bounce there. Zaki barely sidestepping it while Bryant comes in with the boulder smash missing. They did connect with the ice blast on him, so they can score this skill. They're gonna run him down and bring him down indeed. The crush onto two. The macro pyre is there on the front lines as well. Illogic's gonna be careful about where he steps now. Abel comes in on the back lines with that blink dagger unveiled. It's a double kill for Evos. It's Illogic's lock. While Laiku whiffs on the stun on Yang. I don't think it matters. They have the culling blade. And will smack him in the head. FTG. I mean, RNG Jesus and the Dota Gods are only gonna bless them so much before uh, Evos finds their strides. Mad team fight, right? There. They, they're fighting without like the cores which can do some damage. Like, Slider is the core, but he's just stunning people. It's, they need Lina or the Juggernaut to like follow up. One more core in that lane would have made a difference, but. Yeah. It's fine. Well, there's this a Midas on the cards for the Ancient Apparition. He's getting no money whatsoever, so... Despite his Queen team doing very well, he's starved here. Queen almost has the BKB. I'll take that. Well, that's gonna cause all sorts of problems. It's it's funny how Yang is one of the highest damage dealers on the side of uh, FTG right now. Slark though, caught out. Omni Slash brought down with the call, along with the Ice Plus coming from Evos as a retaliation. It's not enough though. The entirety of FTG was here and they bring down the axe as well. Well, too high. Yeah, he's probably Foot not gonna make it out of here. Football player. Oh. Zoning football. Dyer's top yep, he's not going anywhere. Huh? <laughs> <Jukes> are real. <laughs> TP, just TP out. Dyer's top tower TP, bro. He dead. They see him. Just TP, bro. What is he doing? He wants the bounty rule now. Is he gonna wait for 20 seconds? Maybe we don't see it. It's on cooldown, I guess. He's dead. He's dead. No, it's not on cooldown, man. We get to see the TP cooldowns. Yeah. I like how he tried to man up before going down, throwing that tennis ball <laughs> on their face. <laughs> you what, mate? <laughs> FDG wards, wards are doing work, though. Like. The Slack thought he is not under vision, he went with Shadow Dance and I mean Shadow Blade and got caught with the sentry. But I mean if you're Evos you have to be prepared for this, right? You they already they gotta know that Nick's assassin has caused way too much trouble for FTG now and that FTG is taking steps to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, like if Evos went uh, like goes on to win the game and Nyx is probably the MVP for giving Queen that kind of, of a set start, so uh oh, they pinged out Laiku, they know that he's here. They're gonna start off with the Dragon State. The stun connects and Rams comes in to clean up on him as well. The Ice Plus will clip as well. It actually connects on both, so Rams is now wicked sick. Well, perfect. He's burning down Laiku with the Blade Fury. The BKB from Rams has been expended. But uh, they're only gonna get Yang on the back of this. And that too is a doubtful pick off. The Crush comes out onto the Axe, holding him in position. Yang drops down a sideways Macro Pyre. Preventing the chase from continuing on the side of Evos. Evil now getting hit with the Blade Fury has been tagged with the amp damage as well while he makes a run for it. Zaki will replenish it. Omni Slash along with the Ice, Pl Ice Path will secure the kill. FTG finding more than they lost there. They actually do not have an answer for the Chug later on if the axe is not farmed. He's pretty far from his Blade Man. Actually, not so far. It's not so far. Slark's alright though, I mean, I think he could deal with the Jug. Yeah, he's pretty calmed. Lina, she, she did lose a few Bloodstone charges there, but I, I guess it works out in well for uh, yeah, FTG in the end. She got two charges again after dying, so it's like, fine. Lost only two charges after like, getting those two back. The near naked blink dagger on the earth spirit as well is now almost online, so the initiation gets significantly stronger. The Omni Slash was on cooldown, the amped uh, queen blinked in with amplified damage on her, but the Omni Slash was on cooldown for like 14 seconds or something. Yeah, in the end, he did end up using it though. Yeah. Looks like Rosh could be on uh, their minds here. Evos probably doesn't have enough to take down Roshan though. Evos has better heroes to like split up the map and Lina he doesn't have a shadow blade or something to go find people he can't go for a shadow blade like he'll just get jumped on by the mm -hmm. axe after he reveals himself yeah Yules has He's to be the item of choice yeah 
Like you again with a vendetta. He will dodge one of those radiant wards on his way in here. He's looking for this pick off on Yang's Jokiro, but is he gonna get it? They need an ice plus to come through as well, but yep, sentry ward spots this out. He's actually been tagged with the ice part. Even dusted. Evil, what kind of a call was that? Completely off the mark. Catches only illusions. And now it looks like it's FTG's turn to turn things around. Macropire, Ice Path, and a Laguna Blade for good measure. One down on the side. A silent slark on the other end. Now tagged with the uh, amp damage. Stunned, but the Dark Pact, he had to have known that it was being channeled there. Yeah, he should have waited for the stun. But I don't think they wanted to like follow up on that kill, so it's fine. Yeah, but again, FTG didn't really commit too much for that. They did get the kill on the axe with the Laguna and a Macropire, but... It opens up some breathing room for them to keep farming and maybe even pop a smoke of their own. The Slada doesn't isn't going for a Midas or something. It's pretty good. Even, like Queen was camping for. Look. They need to devote this radiant like dire ward on top, next to the medium camp. Oh. It's like the most basic ward of Dota and like the rotation. The smoke was spotted, right? I think it should have... No, I don't think it was spotted, actually. But he was playing defensively, almost as if they know this is happening. But nope, as I say that, Coop is actually running out there. She's probably gonna go down here if they can get the stuns off. They need the crush to start things off. Zaki? What? Okay, they got the crush anyway. Double stuns, ice path, everything thrown at her. She shouldn't have died there, to be honest. She shouldn't be there, to be honest. <laughs> oh, illogic. This time they baited him. They've got the amp tagging him. They can jump forward, but the ice path will start things off. The crush will hold him there longer. LSA as well. He just did not get to move in the Shadow Dance. They played that one perfectly, FTG. Three man shrine. Worth. Value. Rosh. FTG with the execution, bro. Yeah, this is... Good decision making coming out from them, immediately shrine into Rush, knowing that there's two down. Evos, I mean at best they can throw like an ice path into the pit. Lina is the same level as Quark after dying so many times. They're a little late to this party. Roshan's already down and while they are grouping up, it's a bad idea for the Axe to think about jumping in there. Radiant has better better team fight. They need to pick off people with the star and then like chase one by one. That's their game plan with the AAX and Mix. They can't directly go fight them. Not right now at least. How does Evos fight back in this game? Keep farming on this lock? Get that BKB? Uh yeah, I think just split up and get more items on the queen, maybe a LinkedIn or something. He's going for a hex though. I'm not sure actually, it's a pretty bad game to play queen versus like, like stun, slider, versus the silence. There's... I'm pretty sure hex is not the item over here though, like if there's a slider you should go shivas into me all there and stuff. Yeah, I agree. I definitely think she needs some survivability. Yeah, even a Yules at this point is something I could agree with. But no, uh... you you're just delaying yourself, like... I don't think Yul is that good versus Ice Path as well. Not right now, at least. They, he had a pretty good start. You don't buy Yul's after a start like that. It's fine. Well, what you could do though, I mean, one thing that Evos does have going in their favor is if Evil lands one of those big calls, things could turn around very quickly in their favor with a Sonic Wave and an Ice Blast. So they have that wombo combo uh, potential yeah. in their team fights, and their high ground defense is going to be very strong because of that. Lena going back for a shadow blade. Yeah, so she has Yules and then she's going shadow blade. So not sure. yeah, no, she's going like that doesn't make sense. Going Yule into shadow blade. Why not? It's like too many. How do, how do you say it? Like initiation based items, I guess. The <laughs> you damage right. Blood stone BKB types. Blink BKB doesn't BKB. add damage though. No, I'm saying it's like too many, too many initiation items. Ah, okay. Shadow I mean, yeah, she is going to be one of the physical DPS cores as well yeah. as this game goes on. Uh, she needs a BKB and uh, maybe Bloodthorn Deadless or something. 
Mm, illogic. He's going... BKB, yeah, you have to get a BKB this game. There's no denying it, but... Is it too early for the BKB on this lock? Uh... Nah, I think you need a BKB this game. Like, normally people go for a Lincoln or something, but... Lincoln doesn't help you with Stardust. You still get crushed, so... AoE stun. Mm -hmm. Lincoln, uh, it's Spirit Kick. BKB is pretty good. He's like immortal in fights now. Yeah, unless... For a while. Yeah, unless at least... he gets caught. If he gets Omni Slash, he's still done for, but... That is assuming he doesn't have the Shadow Dance available at the like, time. Yeah, he's going to get Omni Slash and he's like controlled, right? So. Mm -hmm. Juggernaut, he's, he's had a decent game so far, but he's fallen behind in terms of net worth. He's now down to about 12.5k, which is still behind the slock. Queen of Pain seems to be the clear leader in this game, though. But he uh, we're questioning. Shadow Blade instead of completing the. Not sure. Who are you talking about? Juggernaut. Huh. I, I mean, be seen by the axe walking into team fights makes sense. Is there value in a silver edge here? Not so much, right? I guess the axe is the only one who you really want, whose passage you really want to disable. But silver edge in general is a very good item, so I think it's fine. All right, Abel, are they thinking of fighting this? I mean, the Ice Blast has connected on the Lina, but they're not going to jump in with the call on her. Meanwhile, on the top side of the map, Jokiro. Seeping in while Rams is being chased down by Perfect. Do they have the control? No, he blinks out the crush. Just barely missing from Zaki. They he should have waited with the Shadow Blade hit, I think. Zaki Roshan and TP before Slada, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Queen has a completed hex right now. They can jump completely. Lena's going for a Lincoln though. She's still getting survivability and control items though. She's not quite uh, stacking up the damage. Lincoln is like still little bit stats, so it's fine. I think Lincoln is good because Queen has a hex now. Mm -hmm. BKB, Orchid Hex. Do you go back for the Aghanim Scepter on Queen this game or? She's queued up a Skadi. I would go Shivas, I think, next. I wouldn't buy a Hex this game. Not so early at least. I think Shiva's into some Neon Man and stuff. Would have been pretty good. They lack some damage as well. Full Yule's finished up on Zaki as well. How's the net worth looking? Very minor lead for Evos. 30 minutes in, neither side really looking like they're threatening high ground just yet. The Aegis, uh, well it's not, it's not available to anyone at the moment. Roshan, still a while before he's back online. A minimum of two and a half minutes. So we've hit that phase in the game where you know it's the calm before the storm and FDK, neither side wants to get picked off. They don't feel threatened, I think, by the late game. They have Slider and Juggernaut with two DPS scores, so I think they're fine. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the, the same could be said for Evos, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Slark is devastating in the late game. But he's going for a defusal next. Do you agree with this? I'm not sure about the defusal actually right now. Uh, I'm trying to think why he's getting a defusal, but Dyer's top tower is under there's going attack. to be two Yules pretty soon on FDP. Maybe he wants to dispel that. In in general, like defusal blade is like good, cheap and good for damage. But... Oh, check this out. They're gonna use the slark as bait here, but FTG are not taking it. It's just backing up. They were hoping that some squishy hero comes in, but yeah. Speaking of squishies, they will find to hoid somewhere else. The life of a five position support. But at least he's got a Midas. They're going to devote everything. Never gem. What? <laughs> LSA doesn't give vision, bro. <laughs> That was a Maybe rage stun on the wall. Complete his silver edge right now. Like some stats is like better than a diffuser for sure. Just Soul's go for a basher, I think. Yeah, yeah I like. I do like basher. the basher here. Yeah. Smack the juggernaut while he's spinning. Like even a bash on the Dina is like pretty. The 
Nick has done so much work. I'll feel bad if he like ends up losing this game now. <laughs> actually, he's got his blink dagger online now for the next fight as well. Hacks needs a BKB right now. He can't like blink call and like YOLO kill one guy because like, ice bath, boulder smash, a lot of stuff. Yules. Yeah, I think the Yules is the biggest controlling factor up against him. The double Yules on FTG rather. But uh, Evos, they're, uh, they're moving. Going, they're going to show show the Lina top and gank somewhere. So the move was to like show Lina at the lane and find a pick off in the jungle. But he was up playing together. So I like this FTG him. ward though. I mean, there is no reason for it to be out here in the middle of nowhere, but it provides how that value building time. That? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How did they plant that? You can you can check anyone who planted that ward over. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah it doesn't show the ward zoner anymore. But yeah, again, because of that ward, they knew that the entirety of Evos was bottom, so they could take that tower at top without any contest and fear of being jumped upon. The yeah. Evos, they smoked, and again, I think that ward might have seen it. No, yeah. that ward was just out of range. Mid, though, they've jumped in, they've got the hex on Jakiro. They should get this kill. Spike Carapace will hold him there, while Evos, like you, still continues onwards with that uh, Vendetta. They've cut their losses though, FTG. They're okay with giving up one Jokiro for a smoke rotation. Rosh is still not up, so it's fine. Illusion. Waiting to see what Lena goes for next. Maybe a BKB? Another survivability item? But... Uh, not sure actually. Yeah, he's going BKB. Nyx, need a BKB versus Nyx. Uh, Lincoln doesn't do the job. Hmm. But I, I'm starting to feel like her damage output is waning this game. Ooh, look at this. How did he not see him? I think he pretended to not see him, but Illogic had... He had to have seen his uh, inventory. Yeah. All wards are getting de-warded. He was feeling nice like shit right now. Yeah, it's the worst feeling in the world when you're playing this mid-late game and you're not sure of where FTG is going to come haunting you from. It's just the axe. They need the BKB on axe. Then they can feel confident about walking to places. Queen is going orchid now. She had the orchid for a while actually. I I mean AC. Yeah, this I can agree with. Yeah, it's pretty good. Still looking for Raw. She is back online though. That's where the next fight should happen. Alacrity gonna take an ice plus along with that stun coming out from the next. Slark joins the fray, does whatever damage he can, but the Yules is there to hold him up there. He's gonna stay alive for a little longer, but he's gonna tick down to the Sonic Wave from behind while Perfect gets a double kill, bringing down the Nyx as well as the Axe. He's still doing a fair bit of damage, slicing through heroes. Now Blade Fury in forward, the Crush is there along with the Bash. They'll get the kill on the AA while Slark drops next. FTG in the blink of an eye wiped the floor with Evos. And can now claim Roshan without fear of being brought down. Why do people don't want to focus down the Jackie? He's like on full HP, like not even like 100 HP less or something. That was a lot of commitment for the Lena though, that allowed them to get behind. I mean, Perfect just jumped straight past the Yule's Lena and went forward to bring down the Axe and the Nyx Assassin by himself. At least they got the Lena kill over there, like he didn't commit suicide, so. Mm hmm. That would have been disastrous otherwise. I mean, it, I, I'd still count this as a disaster. Uh, like, FDG is pretty good at execution. They like play behind the jug when the jug is like out of late fury, then the opponents commit, and then they stun with, start with the Earth Spirit stun, and then Slaughter goes on to kill A solo and stuff. It's like pretty. Like, they know what to do. Meanwhile, Evos is just running at people like whoever they see. Mm hmm. Yep, he completed a Shivas. He didn't go for the AC. Makes sense. Yeah, meanwhile, you've got the full Diffusal Blade finished up on the Jog, who's also got that Silver Edge. I don't know if he had it for the last battle, but. They're. Uh, FTG are clearly getting a major power spike into the next fight. This should be 
uh, it should be a comfortable siege for FTG to be honest with the Aegis and these liquid fire spams onto the high ground. Yeah, they're trying for a trade right now, I think, but they're already outside the base. That ward, he's he placed the ward again over there. Why? <laughs> He, even he has to like place wards at high grounds now because of the gem. Alacrity, hunting, looking for a pick off, but won't find anyone. It's too high now that's in trouble. He doesn't have a TP. Ninja. Does he notice the trees? Nah. Is he going to stun? Oh, now he's got it. He's out. This should have been punished. But yeah, how would they know? How would they know? Max, his PKB is still a while to go actually. He needs the recipe now. This map is no longer safe for Evos when the Aegis is in tow on FTG. The ward. They need to deward this ward before fighting. Here comes Slark from behind, going to work on perfect. He does have a defusal blade, but it's the Juggernaut that turns around and starts slapping him to bits. They blow him up. With the Laguna Blade, what was the Slark thinking there? He's also, he's also gonna get the Axe kill alongside him. No buyback on the Axe by the way, this is 60 seconds that FTG has with a healing ward on the floor to take high ground. That's the SEA well played right there boys. <laughs> like he had no business hitting the Slark Juggernaut with Aegis over there, I don't know what he was doing. Maybe they wanted to fight over there but... Miscommunication. Yep. Does he have a buyback? Axe doesn't though. This is still a really tough defense coming out from Evos. Here we go. The jump in. The crush whips. There's the LSA. Bye bye, Ancient Apparition. Down for the count for 47 seconds. Perfect. Doesn't even end up losing the Aegis. They'll just Silver Edge and run away to take down the Shrines now that the tier 3 is taken away. That's a good call. Like, they need, don't need to force the Aegis for a Axe. They can just come back later and take, take two wins using that Aegis. Yeah, and they're gonna come back with. There are more items as well. So Scardi yeah. eventually gonna be finished on perfect. How's the Lena looking in terms of farm? She's almost got a side the vice finished up. Outplays real I think. I more than outplays, I wanna say this is mistakes from Evos. That move on the juggernaut was questionable to say the least. Yeah. He thought like he'll just uh, like take some stacks and Stats I mean, everybody. maybe they tried it because they had the vision advantage. Brian jumps forward, whiffs on the boulder smash. Illogic now pops his BKB in time to try and do some damage. Ice Plus is coming in. Brian's gonna get four stuffed out of it. No one gets tagged with that Ice Plus while the Yules will keep Yang alive as well. The BKB is down now. Illogic's running away with the Silver Edge. Meanwhile, behind there's a fight breaking out as Evos. They've actually lost their axe once more. And the Ancient Apparition will fall soon after. The Hex is there as well. They're controlling up the Queen of Pain. She's not getting an opportunity to pop that BKB, but finally does. However, Nyx is the one to get crushed in their face. Perfect. Remember, still has that Aegis. And this time, they're going to put to use by taking the buildings, by taking the barracks. He got a free kill on the Axe. Coming, like, walked in with the Silver Edge and killed him. I can't hear you, your voice is really soft. I was saying like he got the pick off on the axe with the silver edge, so... They can't fight without axe. Yep, many barracks taken, value ages indeed. They still have the cheese on the Lena by the way. Which will now be thrown over to the Juggernaut. Lena has a completed hex now. Yeah, she had it in the last fight as well. They tried to bring down the Quap with it, but... Rams popped his BKB and bailed in the nick of time. Looking at Nyx coming in, hunting. There's actually an Ancient Apparition that's casually rewarding here. But here's the entirety of FTG. They'll start with the Blade Fury. They do have the Diffusal Blade, so they're gonna get this freebie on the Ancient Apparition. And then they can take down the Shrine. Oh, they've actually gone for the Slark. He's controlled up, stunned up as well. They don't have enough control though. Oh, sure they do with the Hex from the High Ground from Alacrity. Die back on the Slark. I mean, without sugarcoating it, you might as well call it now. I think that's GG. Yeah. And the DD rune on Lina as well. Post 40 minute Dota, 2 power runes. One <laughs> guy has Invis, one guy has DD. And they still have the cheese on the Juggernaut. 
He's got something new flying out to him. Look at that later. Bash. Hex comes out. They've got the crush as well. The LSA, everything on the next. He's down for a good 50 seconds himself. Evos, I think they smell defeat as well as we do here. With Evil about to drop next. Rams has just given up, man. He's just stopped moving. This is that moment when you get up in the cyber cafe and smack your feeder on the head and then come back and type <laughs> GG. Evos. They've tapped out, FTG will move on to the quarterfinals and are one step closer to making it to the regionals of the International 2017 Southeast Asia region. Alright, we're gonna check if the lobby is up for the next one real quick. FTG... Who are they playing next? Yeah, it's up. They're playing MVPR.